Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can customize many features of the spelling tool. You can view the proofing options for Microsoft OneNote by clicking the spelling options link at the bottom of the spelling pane. You can also access the proofing options by clicking the file tab within the ribbon to enter backstage view and then choosing the options command on the bottom on the left hand side. That will open up the OneNote options dialog box that we see here. In this dialog box select the proofing command on the left hand side to reveal our options at the right. We have some different sections here in the middle in the when correcting spelling in Microsoft Office program section you click the check boxes next to the displayed options in order to turn them on or off. A check in the box indicates that an option is selected or enabled. And so we have things like ignore words in uppercase, ignore words that contain numbers, ignore internet and file addresses. Those are set by default but again you can go in here you could uncheck them if you didn't want that to be active or you could activate any of the other ones that are available that are not currently checked. Now there are two other sections in this dialog box that we want to look at for options that apply to OneNote only. We have the autocorrect options that's up at the top and then we also have a section at the bottom called when correcting spelling in OneNote. Let's go ahead and take a look at the autocorrect feature. Now all users mistype or misspell words. There may be words that you seem to mistype frequently. OneNote provides the autocorrect feature to help you automatically correct common misspellings of words. For example, if you commonly mistype the word the as T-E-H, Autocorrect can automatically replace the misspelling as you type so that you don't have to make that correction later using the spelling pane. Now to view the autocorrect feature, click the autocorrect options button at the top of the dialog box here. Give that a click. Now this will bring up the autocorrect dialog box. You click the autocorrect tab to set or change the autocorrect options for OneNote. Make sure you're on that tab and not math autocorrect. Now you can set any of the available options that you desire by making sure a check mark is next to a feature that you want turned on. We have correct two initial capitals, we have capitalized first letter of sentences, and so forth. Now in the area below, you can add entries to your autocorrect library by entering the word to be replaced in the replace text box here and the word to replace it with in the with text box to the right here. And then after you're done, you would click the add button at the bottom. But you'll see we already have some entries in here that are pre-populated for us because they're very common so you can click on here to scroll through that particular list and you'll see some very common ones. For example here's the word article which is commonly mistyped or misspelled and we have what it is going to be replaced with. Now just like you can add to this you can also delete if you wanted to by selecting it and then clicking the delete button to delete that entry. Now also notice the exceptions button right here. If there are certain words or chains of letters that you do not want OneNote to automatically fix, you can add them to the exceptions section. Now when you click this button it will bring up the autocorrect exceptions dialog box where you can create exceptions to the first letter on this tab and the initial caps rules by typing them in the text box and then clicking OK after you click it to add it to it. So for example we have our first letter list and you can scroll down and you can see all the different exceptions. Maybe we want to add another one. And we can type that in and we can just click add 
and then we would click OK. Now, to delete an autocorrect entry from the list shown, on the autocorrect tab you simply select that entry that you want to delete and then delete it. So let's go ahead and look at that. We will actually delete one, give it a click, and then click delete. Now after having done that and making all of your changes and all of your autocorrect options are set, you can click or tap the OK button to close the dialog box and save your changes. You can then click or tap the OK button in the OneNote Options dialog box to close and save the default proofing options. And now you have set your default proofing options in Microsoft OneNote. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp dot com forward slash free.